Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am your Haitian guide to your heart. Your Haitian guide to harmony, empowerment, authenticity, resilience, and transformation. Today, we're diving into a critical health issue that's impacting urban Haiti, early onset heart failure. Recent research has revealed that this condition is alarmingly common, with rates over 15 times higher than previously estimated. This study, conducted by Weill Cornell Medicine in partnership with Geskio, is a wake-up call for us all. Let's unpack these findings together. First, what exactly is heart failure? It's when the heart muscle can't pump enough blood to meet the body's needs. This leads to fatigue, shortness of breath, and a host of other symptoms. But what's particularly concerning in Haiti is the age at which people are experiencing this condition. The study assessed 3,003 residents in Port-au-Prince, Haiti's capital. Here's what they found. Nearly 12% of participants were affected by heart failure, with a median age of just 57. This is much younger compared to the United States, where heart failure typically affects older adults. The nature of cardiovascular disease in Haiti is also different. Unlike wealthier countries where coronary heart disease is prevalent, in Haiti, the issues stem more from hypertension and the heart muscle stiffening. Dr. Margaret McNary and Dr. Lily Yan who led this research call this a paradigm shift in understanding cardiovascular disease in low-income countries. So why is this happening? The study highlights several unique risk factors. Extreme poverty and high levels of stress, including from civil unrest. Environmental factors like pollution. High rates of hypertension with very low control rates only 13% of adults with hypertension had their blood pressure under control. Addressing this health crisis requires a shift in focus. We need to prioritize early prevention of hypertension and heart failure. This includes better healthcare infrastructure, community education, and addressing the socioeconomic factors contributing to these conditions. Researchers are also studying other factors like hunger, sanitation, and stress that contribute to this crisis. Understanding these elements is crucial for developing effective prevention and treatment strategies. As we wrap up, it's clear that more needs to be done to combat early onset heart failure in Haiti. By raising awareness and supporting research, we can make a difference. Let's continue to advocate for better health outcomes for all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insights on holistic wellness and mental health. Until next time, take care of your heart.